Yeah, she didn't start chewing chalk too, did she? Good night. Dude, check this out. Nicole almost got to the ink on this one. Yeah, I've been noticing those. I think she has some kind of oral fixation or something going on. You know, it's like, it's like she just has them all the time. What? You, you realize you don't have a cigarette in your hand. What are you talking about? That's just the way I talk. You know, now that you mention it though, I think it's probably about time for a cigarette break anyway. From the moment fire was discovered, the men who could control it shaped civilizations. Those skilled enough to use this power to forge metals were dubbed blacksmiths. These are those men. These are modern day blacksmiths. Whenever Don is smoking while he's working, he has this issue with throwing his cigarette butts just on the floor. Really, Donald? I assume that you're going to be cleaning that up, right? You assume incorrectly. It's a mess. Look at all those cigarette butts down there. I feel like that's our mess because our you mess? got a pen. Ah, one. Ah, pen. Really? Well, ah, our mess. Just to say Your that's even my pen. I don't even know why you would think that. No. No way that I'm doing that. That's all you. 95% cigarette butts, one pin. Uh, how about rock, paper, scissors? Rock, paper, scissors. All right. That sounds fair. All right. Hey, what are you guys doing? Rock, paper, scissors. Oh, dude, I'm always game for that. All right, let's Ready? do this. All right. All right. One, two, three, shoot. Yeah! Boom. Boom. Two scissors beat one rock. Every time. Numbers. Everyone knows that. Strength yeah. Strength and numbers. Strength and numbers. You clean it up. You do it. Clean what up? I just came in for a game of rock, paper. It actually didn't matter what Ryan threw. He was going to lose. I would say that my number one job here is to keep them from killing themselves. Clean off your head with this thing. Hey. Sure, it's clean. What did you just say? Oh, we're going to see if that helmet can withstand a hit from the battle. Okay, do you really think that it's a good idea? I mean, that doesn't sound very safe to me. It's very safe because one, I'm shorter, so it's a cleaner strike for him. Two, I have this on, I have gloves on. I basically a picture of safety right now. Did you consider maybe taking it off and putting it on the ground, testing no, it No, we way? need real world. We need to know if these things really can withstand a hit. You know what? You guys are the experts. I just Yeah, trust us, we got this. Yeah, I almost never miss. Don started working here mainly, I thought, was to drink my beer. Ends up, he's a fantastic artist and great metal worker. But he still drinks a lot of my beer. I met Ryan when he was sharing a space at a bronze foundry that I worked at. Went over there, noticed they had a bunch of beer and they liked to bang on metal. Perfect fit. Pattern, scroll goes on here, two and three eighths inch off, weld. Yeah, that's Done. That'll work perfect. Done. I need a cold beer after that. Hey, that sounds fantastic, grab me one. Not a problem. Oh, Ryan, we're out of beer again. You gotta be kidding me, I just got some. Yeah, there's none in here. I get a lot of notifications on my phone, so whenever the paper sends me one, I like to read the articles. Hey, Ryan, Ryan, stop. I just read this fascinating article. No, seriously, it was about firemen. Apparently at like four in the morning in negative seven degree weather, they rescued four kids or three kids from the burning building. Yeah. That's what this we do is... all the time. Really? Yeah. Apparently Don thinks we fight fires when it's sunny and 70. I've actually had ice freeze on me after I left the house after the fire. Water sometimes feels like taffy as you're climbing up the ladder. So, I mean, it gets cool. We don't get two hour delays, man. When that bell goes off, we go out. I should say, you never really think about it when it's that cold out, man. That's my respect for firemen after reading this article just went way up. Now, my respect for you, shop Ryan, that's still down there, though. You know what? I got a quick idea. Take over this, I'll be right back. I need to use these.
What you drawing? Well, when you were reading that article, mm -hmm. you know, I thought it'd be cool for us to be able to give back to the firefighters as a gift from the community. Yeah. You know, so I was thinking about making a piece of wall art, yeah. but I don't know what to do, what shape, you know what I mean? It's just, <clears throat> I like the idea. I'm really more curious about what's going on with this oh, scrap just, piece of whatever it is. God. It's a temporary board. I call it my eyeboard. See the little apple down here? Is that what that is? Mm. It doesn't look like one. This doesn't look like any kind of board. You think you'd be able to afford a new one. You should get one of those real big ones. Ryan never wants to buy anything new. We need to step into the 21st century. Get new whiteboards. You know what? I wish I had a money tree. I could buy a whiteboard every day. Yeah. Well, I mean, this is just giving me a temporary idea. I don't know. I mean, what do you think? I, I, I like the idea of it. I don't know. I think we got to come up with something that would be symbolic of the fire department. You know well, I mean? you know, so, I, I could do like something to the local 416. That way it's not to a specific firehouse. Mm -hmm. It's to the whole yeah, Indianapolis. Like, si yeah, citywide. Yeah, I like that. That story, that article was awesome. So I'd be totally down to do a piece for it. Something real big too. Yeah. You know, it's got to be substantial and big. A lot of different material. Four or five feet? Yeah, at least. As big as they'll let us do. Well, I mean, we're giving it to them. True. So it's whatever we want, yeah, which no, is good about awesome. this project. So, all right. I'm just got to work up an idea. All right. Those I'll all keep... suck. They're temporary, dude. I chose a Maltese cross, universal sign for fire department. Awesome. So. That'd be great if we're giving them commemorative coins. Well, if you'd let me finish a little bit, we're gonna go bigger size, kind of like this. Mm. Oh, still not feeling that one. This. Why wouldn't you lead with this one? That's what I'm talking about. If there's one thing I learned in business school, always lead with the big one. Well, I didn't lead with it because if no, it's more dramatic like yes, this. Now. So then these line up. So this is about four feet yeah. in diameter. I like it. The only issue I'd have is the Yeti and the ghost from Pac-Man going to be on it, or are these going to have some kind of symbol of firefighters too? Well, if you pay attention to detail, this, not much better, not but much this better is a hook and ladder, and that's a hydrant. Okay. That's a that's your version of a hydrant. Did you draw it? Not really. It just got blown up. It's You can only go so big before the pixels get distorted. By pixels, you know what those are? Like these things right here? It's an awful big word for you. No, I get it. No, this is, this is great. This is more of what I had in mind. That's perfect. That size, it'll have a lot of substance to it. Okay. It's going to be a lot of material, though. Yeah. Well, we can spread it out. We can get different types of material. So to keep costs down on this project, we're going to take a variety of materials and combine them as one. Nicole, you got a minute? Yeah, what's up? Don finally read an article that I wanted to listen to. Surprising. It was about a fire rescue. Oh, okay. An apartment, but I was thinking about doing a project for the fire department. That sounds great. That sounds fantastic. I love the idea of giving something back to the community. See, I, I thought it'd be a good idea. All for We're going to need some steel, okay. some copper, some aluminum, but I got the whole list of the material right here okay. that we're going to need. It's like okay. a lot of stuff we got here. And since this is a donation, mm -hmm. we're not getting paid for it. Okay. So we're going to need it for free. How am I supposed to get all this stuff for free? Make it happen. <sighs> I have no idea how she's going to get those materials for free. What's up, Don? She's backing up. <coughs> That's good. <sighs> How'd it go? Oh, good. I got the materials you guys needed for the project. Good. And I got them for free. I can't believe Nicole got that material for free. You've been dealing with that supplier for years and they've never given me so much as a toothpick. You're kidding. Really? No. We were just joking around. Are you serious? <laughs> they were kidding about that? Hopefully you didn't sell a kidney or anything. No, but you could have told me that before I offered to babysit the guy's kids on Saturday. Just have done. How old's your kid? You I can't go within a hundred yards of the school, so I'm out. I can't believe he was kidding about getting those materials for free. And now I have to give up my Saturday night to babysit. 
I'll, I'd help you, but I'm at the firehouse that day. Mm, saved us some money at least. Good job. That's good. When I looked across the shop, I saw Brian breaking out the plasma torch. I was thinking to myself, why not just use the laser cutters? You're gonna use the plasma torch? I figured we'd use the uh, laser cutters. Well, of course, taking it to a laser cutter would be the easiest thing, but it would also be the most expensive thing. This is all coming out of our pocket. We gotta use the plasma cutter. No, we don't need the laser cutters for that. This is only quarter inch thick steel. It costs $300 to get laser cut. We have a plasma torch. I'm like a doctor. This is my scalpel and I've never lost a patient. All right, if you think so, you can do it and keep everything looking with right. With that being said, don't be Ryan and hijack this. Let the doctor get to work. All right, we'll see. The doctor can handle cutting a little ladder out with the plasma cutter. Don. Is that the ladder for the plaque? Yeah. I'm gonna need for you to call it. Yeah. Time of death, 314. That may have been a little more than the doctor ordered. I'm starting to think Dr. Ryan is a bit of a quack. It's all right, doctor. You did everything you could. Don't worry. I'll call the laser cutters and the morgue. You never get over losing a patient. It's awful. Hey, Ryan, come over here and check this out. So, I made my template out of masonite, cut the five out, steel, aged it. I got the patina on it. Look at that, doesn't that look great? It looks great, but what's the five for? for the fire project that's gonna go in the center of the Maltese Cross. And when I was reading the article, I think it was station five that did the rescue. What? It wasn't five. One, it was, I mean, the five looks great, but it wasn't fives that did the rescue. Plus, we're doing this for all firefighters. If you single out station five, it makes everybody else look so not important. Our local numbers are 416. So unfortunately, I don't think we'll be able to use this. That's a good point. It looks good. I mean, you can put it up on your wall or something, or I can give you a high five. <laughs> that high five joke is getting so old. Hey, Ryan, do you have your money for lunch? Yeah, still five bucks, right? Absolutely. Thank you. What is that? It's high five. Oh, God. Hey, Don, check it out. What the hell is that? High five. Looks like a V, Roman numeral. Still not funny. Could be a V for victory. V for old. Hey, Don. No. Not again. Don. I'm not gonna indulge you. Guess what I'm holding? I already know what it is. No. After four, before no. six. But anyways, it looks good, but now we know how to do the 416. All right, well, at least I have a nice five. To get the texture that we want for this Maltese cross, we take the material, we put it in the forge to heat it to give it some scale, and then we take it over to the anvil and hammer to give it texture. I don't want to use plain copper on this project. The steel has texture, the copper has to have texture. Oh, f Gotta be kidding me, hit my thumb. F Holy, what the Christ is going on, Ryan? You gotta get your anger under control. You just threw, I could have been walking there.
Around this shop in the industrial complex, I'm known as Mr. Safety. I don't mess around. When Ryan almost hit me with that hammer, it really set me over the edge. I take my safety extremely seriously, Ryan. You gotta be aware of your surroundings. Who's working with you? Ow! Oh, that's hot. That's hot. That just burnt me. I heard a loud crash and then a you mother and then I thought it's about time for a safety meeting. Back to the chairs of shame. So something tells me that you guys have a pretty good idea of why we're here again today, less than 24 hours ago with our safety meeting. Want to tell me what happened? In my defense, the hammer hit me first, so I was a victim once again. Your excuse? I burnt myself yelling at him for his safety. Okay. Well, I don't know what it's gonna take to get through to you guys. I mean, the first aid kit, empty. I filled that on Tuesday. God, God f it. Well, you're not supposed to go for the face, wad. I'm on a first name basis with a pharmacist. Maybe I'm just not gonna fill it again. I mean, how do you feel about that? I'm fine with that. I mean, I, I feel like we don't need it anyways. I used yeah. a bag this time because it was empty. So obviously that's not gonna be enough. How about no more 4.30 beer time? Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's, we'll, sh we'll shape up. Absolutely. We'll, yeah, we'll, we'll, message received. Yep, my thumb's really Look. not hurting much anymore. Yeah, the burn gone. I knew if I threatened to take away the 4.30 beer time, I could get them to see it my way. Hey. Thanks for taking care of that. Yeah, well, I kind of had to to keep us on track. Just make sure you keep your fingers clear. Um, got a little bit. Yeah, I'm, I'm finishing it because you clearly don't know how to do it. While I'm doing this, I tell you what, why don't you go get some beer? Well, I can still do that just because I have a bum thumb. I'll tell you what, why don't I do, do it, you get beer. I like beer, but I don't like to go get beer. I'm not going to get the beer. I'm the one who's having to do your work. Skills challenge. All right. What do you got? Since you think that us firefighters and temperature can get along so well, let's have a skills challenge. Who can stay outside the longest right now? It's five degrees. Okay, I'll do that. I have a Tibetan breathing technique that allowed me to stay out there for hours. Tibetan breathing? Yeah, let's do I'm this. I'm betting I'm going to beat you. This one's going to be real easy. All right, ready? Yep. Go. All right. Ty? Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. After you, my lady. No, I'm not going first then. All right, no, fine. fine. Same time. All right. At the fire museum. I'm on my way. Yep, I got my going to court shirt on and everything for the big reveal. Of course I have the project. I'm gonna have to be an idiot to have forgotten it. Hey, I just hit some traffic. I'm gonna be about 10 minutes late. Bye. It meant a lot to me to see familiar faces and family when we unveiled this project downtown. I knew there was a five somewhere in there. I just want to take today to thank all the firemen that I work with every day. Know that we all have each other's backs. Don and I worked really hard on this project to kind of give back to the community and to all of us, firefighting family. Uh, we thought that the best would be for this union hall so the kids can see the dedication that us firefighters do day in and day out. You know, with being a firefighter, with it being two degrees and the seven inches of snow, we don't get a two hour delay in school. We have to go to work. When the bells go off, we go to work, okay? And Don and I worked really hard 
to get this project so the kids can see what we give to each other. Firefighter to firefighter, firefighter to families. I know getting the opportunity to unveil that Maltese cross with all the firemen there meant a whole lot to Ryan. For me, seeing that plaque revealed today was pretty great. Uh, you look at history and all the things in the fire service, uh, the tradition, and that's just adding to it one more piece of it. And years from now, we'll be able to look back on that as being something spectacular that was made by Ryan Feeney. Ryan, you are the true definition of brotherhood in the fire service. On behalf of all Indianapolis firefighters, I can't thank you enough, my brother. Thank you. I know that we like to tease Ryan a lot around the shop, but seeing him in his element at the firehouse really did make us proud. Yep. Ladies first. Thank you. And Thank second. You. Oh. <laughs> I got it. I'm actually really proud of you guys. It's been a, a pretty eventful day. Yeah. Thank you. I'm glad I came up with that project. You came up with the project. Yeah. Yeah, after the article, I came up with it. This project was totally mine. You know what, I'm just going to go ahead and let you guys hash that out. All I got right. some stuff to do in the office. It won't, it won't take very long. Your idea? What about all the drawings and the... If it wasn't for me, you would have done a triangle or something, so I helped you out with the design and everything. I inspired Ryan to come up with that idea. You should be thanking me. My idea. Good job, bud. I got hosed on this one. <laughs>